is a 2010 Dodge Charger 2.7 liter V6 but this applies to the other Dodge Charger Chrysler engines 2.7 through probably even 5.7 um, but you see it idles good runs good there's no codes on the dash no nothing but this will thrip, trip an instant engine light and watch what I'm gonna do here this is the idle air controller right here you can see it's on there what happens when you pull it a little bit and you don't even know watch so you get the crazy idle RPMs goes up to over a thousand and it looks like it's still on there you heard the difference in the engine All right now come watching the dash you have no idea that that thing's still not plugged in great just by looking at it it looks like it's plugged in and these clips are notorious for breaking on these engines on the idle air control now look you have the instant engine light you have the electronic throttle sensor light on even that little guy comes on which why well, i have no clue but all of them will shut off. So what I gotta do now, and this, this actually it will not reset or do anything um, when you plug that back in. It'll still run like this. At least that's what this one's doing. Not all of them will. I've seen a Chrysler 300 that will instantly reset. So I'm gonna go back through. I gotta disconnect the battery, reconnect it. Actually first, clear the codes with my code reader. Then disconnect the battery for 30 seconds reconnect the battery come up here reconnect that connector on the IAC or you can even reconnect that IAC connector first real good and if that little clip on the side is broke even the safety clip that holds it in place is broke you're gonna have to get another one or you're gonna have to rig that together to make sure that it stays so again this is a 2010 Dodge Charger with a 2.7 liter v6 and this applies to a lot of other v6 engines so you're getting the the uh, codes like uh, multiple misfires, uh, misfire and cylinder one, um, idle air control motor issue codes, anything like that. And I can post numbers uh, in the comments below or uh, in the info box below the video but um, to give you specific numbers. But I got six different codes on this one alone. And um, this is the easiest fix. And we actually did a tune up on this and it was doing this before, but I ended up plugging that thing in good enough where I knew it couldn't, wouldn't come undone, but uh, must have broke the, the safety clip and the clip in the process to where it'll work itself loose. And it will work itself loose as you're idling through or you go and accelerate or something, the, uh, the clip will work itself loose and you'll have these problems. See where the RPMs is at? So after I disconnect the battery, clear the clothes, disconnect the battery, reconnect that clip, and uh, put a zip tie on it until we get the new one. We ordered another one, we're gonna get it in. I'm gonna put it on, splice it in, and all will be well. But um, that's the easiest fix, man. And people are going to the dealer not realizing this. The dealer, anybody who works on the, any tech who works on that idle air control, with that clip the way that it is, sees that it's broke, should replace it. A lot of them don't because it's a snug fit. It fits on there pretty good, so that's it.